Hello everyone, uh, my name is John Driscoll. Um, this is my vlog one for designing and thinking for leadership. Uh, I'm going to answer a couple of questions. So the first question is, uh, what is your initial thoughts about design thinking? My initial thoughts of design thinking is that it's an unorthodox process of understanding and solving issues through a person-centered fashion. It's about understanding why things do the things they do. It's an outside the box approach that is about trying to really connect and understand the issues through multiple fronts, like seeing and observing why that person's having issues then asking that person all the questions you can, and then really try to put yourself in their shoes so you can understand how they feel, what they feel, so you can have a better sense of idea when you're ideate and create ideas and brainstorm. Um, just, yeah, just keep asking questions, and keep, it gives you more more power to brainstorm. Um, so the more data and stories you have, the more you can ideate some solutions, uh, and the more you can, you know, test things quickly. Um, design thinking can be broken down in parts, um, empathize, Define the problem, ideate, prototype, and test and repeat the process until you find solid answers to the issues. Design thinking is another is another way to redefine an issue and question, um, redefine an issue and, and question a lot so that it may open the door for a new approach for more efficient solutions. I mean, there might even be some current solutions that everyone thinks that could be the final final draft, but with design thinking, you can really like modify and adjust it. And make it even more efficient. So design thinking is always like an open-ended box. It never just ends. You can always just keep going, just keep asking questions. It's it's like a it's like in, infinite almost. Um, long as you keep asking questions, and long as there's a reason why you're asking those questions, it'll, you can find more solutions and more efficient ways to um, to figure out situations. Um, for question number two, what are your initial thoughts about the service learning project? Uh, my initial thought of the service learning project was that the project is for a great cause. It was very sad to read the story and made me empathize and think a lot about her situation. If you're going through all the issues and battles, then the least of your worries should be the bag or carrier. This project is a perfect example for design thinking, and it's for hell a good cause. My initial thought is I want to create the best pamper pack in honor of Pam. And to do so, we have to create something that is ideal for our personal items, as well as keeping, keeping easy uh, sanitary. Um, those were the top two main goals, was just making sure we have enough space and make sure it's like we can keep it clean you know like like i said it's you don't want to have more more things on your mind you don't want to bring germs home with you when you have other battles to fight um so that, me and my group we definitely have broken down some of the insight about that and uh we're, we're in discussions right now currently about it um question number three what are you thinking and feeling um i'm gonna be honest with you i took this class during the summer semester and I I was struggling. I didn't use all my resources. I mean, I didn't pass clearly because I'm here again. Um, I definitely didn't read all the stuff that was given to me, and I I want to apologize for that. I do, and I really sincerely am sorry. Um, like I said, I didn't see all the resources. So when I in the summer class, I thought this was just a class. I thought this was just a project. This is n it, it's not. This class is a lot deeper than just assignment. This is class, this project right here is giving us an opportunity to actually make a difference and help people like they're fighting bigger battles. If we can do a little bit to take off their load and maybe de-stress them a little bit, then I'm 100% for it, and I, it's definitely for a good cause. It's definitely um, it's definitely motivated me, and it's definitely made me feel terrible about the summer semester because I feel like I was just a dummy and I didn't understand what was going on. And now taking this semester serious and reading all my resources and going through everything very thoroughly, I realized that this is a lot deeper than, than just an assignment. And I want to do my best with my group and we we're hitting the ground running. Um, well, we, we started a day slower, but that's we're, we're, we're working really efficient now. Um, the, some the team members that I'm working with right now. Um, we definitely we want to fight this battle. We definitely want to go ahead and make a difference and actually create not just an, a project that gets a passing grade, but something that we can maybe even take to like the the convention centers. Like maybe we can make a product that you can that you be proud of, you know, and you know just something just something in honor for Pam that we can do that can actually make a difference possibly. Um, it's gonna be hard, yes, but if we can, you know, we'll do our best. I know we will. But how I feel about this project, it, it I, I, my heart goes out to your family. And I couldn't imagine what she was going through because it's impossible for me to understand what she went through and what your family went through. Um, and I think that's that's part of empath empathy. So I think with this project and after understanding everything, I definitely have a little bit of fire in my heart. And I definitely want to hit the ground running and find something and create something that's that, that's respectable and that can be used. 
Um, I hope that's not too much, and I hope that's. Um, I hope that last question and answer was okay. Um, I do apologize if I did anything to to stir the pot or anything um, about the, the summer semester because I do apologize. Like I wasn't the best student, but I definitely am taking the right steps now. Um, and I hope you, I hope you see that, and I will speak through my actions. Um, but all, all the less though, I am, I am happy. Like I'm excited for this project because it means an opportunity for me and my group to shine and to maybe possibly make a really big difference. So we definitely don't want to like let that opportunity just slide out the door. And yeah, we we hope to make you proud. Thank you. And that will conclude all the questions.